Dave, um, obviously you've looked back over the last start of week, how, how would you assess it? I think we've had two good performances, uh, plenty of goals again, plenty of attacking action from our front four which we've been really pleased about um we've we obviously know what happened on saturday with the set pieces but tuesday was good in terms of being up against a strong physical team we, we dealt with that so hopefully there's some lessons learned with that we could have scored more the, with the other night um i think the attackers will be disappointed and happy at the same time they've all got assists and goals there was more there to be had but it stands as in good stead for saturday yeah on to saturday in warrington um, it's a funny old season they're in fourth but they've not won at home for the past month they've lost the last three league games there so a chance to maybe go there and, and, and get them yeah we've been through it today in a bit more detail i've got a lot of players from last season um so we we know how they're gonna I wouldn't say set up formation wise, but we know a lot about their players. Uh, good coaches there with, with cards and bees, we know them well. I think with Warrington, you know what you're going to get. They're going to be organised, they're going to be solid, um, they've got good players going forward. They have obviously got that um, dip in their home form, so hopefully we can capitalise that on, on Saturday. But we know what we're in for, it's going to be a tough game, um, and we'll be working on beating them tonight. And uh, obviously, uh Bit of a selection headache now. You've made a few new signings and another one on the way. Yeah, so Alex Starchenko's coming in from Geisley. His his forms are over the line, so he's going to come in on loan for a month. So gives us options in centre midfield with with Tongi's unavailability. Um, Alex is a good young player. Got lots of energy in there. Pretty much similar, very similar to what we've had in there. Uh, won't take anything away from us with with legs, and he's he's good on the ball as well. So we'll look forward to getting to work to work with Alex. And uh, like you said, we haven't picked the team yet. We'll sit down the next hour or so to go through that. Um, and he's available. He could be in there. And in terms of injuries, uh, how, how's that looking? Obviously, Kyle is he still a doubt for Saturday? Or Kyle, the physio won't let me play Kyle, and <laughs> he's got every right to do that because he's he's had concussion. It's his second concussion in six months. So. He will miss Saturday and he'll be back from from the he's eligible to play with his um, concussion from Sunday, so he'll be back next week. So Jack McConville's been brilliant in there. He's, he's covered well. Uh, we know Jack's going to eventually be a centre half, but I think he's been outstanding at left back. And against last week, uh, Jude's for for Bucks and who's very quick. Jack dealt with him very well, and he's going to have a similar task on his hands on Saturday against McCreth, who's one of the best wingers in the league. So uh, we've got every confidence in him. Other injuries, uh, they are clearing up slightly. Uh, um, I think I went through it the other day, Joel Logan's long term and James Hodges long term. The rest we're hoping will be back within the next week or two. Brill. TY, best of luck. Cheers. Cheers.